Hey everyone. So AWS recently announced that they will now let users create uh, Mac instances on AWS EC2. Uh, before this, there were like third-party sites which uh, had their back data centers and were allowing this. But uh, AWS seems to have uh, decided to take uh, that part of the market as well. Uh, so this is a huge news for developers, uh, who especially especially Mac developers who uh, develop apps for like uh, uh, iOS and uh, Mac OS, because uh, they will now be able to test uh, their apps uh, remotely, because so far they were most likely doing it on their own machines or uh, they had to uh, buy spare machines just for uh, testing their apps. Uh, so this will make uh, their flow much more efficient. So yeah, let's uh, get started. So let's create a uh, Mac ins let's try and create a Mac instance and let's see how it goes. So yeah, I am on the AWS homepage and I click on EC2. And then I click on instances. And then I click on launch instances. And it seems uh, currently Catalina and Huawei are available. Let's start with Catalina. And I'll choose Mac 1 as the instance type because I think it's the only one available as of now. and I'll keep the rest of the things as default. So this is one important thing to keep in mind. So the selected instance, uh, basically AWS says the selected instance type must be launched onto a dedicated host, which basically means uh, since uh, Mac, uh, since AWS is using Mac communities uh, to allow us to create Mac instances, uh, they are giving us one uh, Mac mini for ourselves uh, basically to use. Uh, till the time we are creating that instance. So before this, uh, we will need to create a dedicated host. So for Windows instances, this was not necessary uh, because uh, we could uh, be in a shared environment, but uh, they are not letting, uh, they are currently not sharing the environment. It's in at least the hardware, they're not letting, share, uh, letting us share. Uh, so we will need to create a dedicated host for this. For uh, sake of simplicity, I have created uh, one dedicated host for myself. Uh, but uh, you can create the same by clicking this allocate a new host. Uh, you might need to increase your limits uh, so that you can uh, create dedicated host. By default, I think it's set to zero for most people. So I think I uh, created a, re a support request and I increased my limit to one. And post this, I choose the host type and I add storage. I leave this to default again. I leave this to default as well. And this to default as well. I'll try. The source needs to be a CID or block. Okay. What is this source? I'm not sure about this. For now, let's. Uh, I'll just go with uh, uh, anywhere. Let's see if we are able to create the instance. And I've already created a key pair. And let's see. Okay, so our instance is now launching. Okay. So this is the dedicated host which I had created. And as you can see, the CPU direction is now 12 out of 12 because I created an instance which will be using all the 12 uh, vCPUs. So yeah, this is the one, let's name it. Okay. Let's wait for it to initialize. So it seems our Mac is now, in my Mac instance is now running. Uh, there's one more thing we should, uh, I forgot to do. Uh, we need to enable uh, access from the port number 22 so that we can access its boot with the Mac instance. So uh, you don't need to do this if you don't want to SSH into it. But uh, I want to show you how we can do that. So I'll just, for the sake of experiment, I'll do this. I'll add it uh, port number 22. Okay. 
Okay. So now it's added. Let's try and connect via uh, SSH. Let me just see whether, yeah, I have to uh, keep it here. So I'll just try and SSH it to it. Uh, yeah, so the username for uh, the default username for this instance is ec2 hyphen user. That should be the same for all of us. And let's find out the public IP address. Okay. Okay, that's great. Uncorrupted. Okay, let, uh, I think I need to change the file. Okay, I have changed the permissions for the back.pm file that is a key pair to be uh, protected. And let's try to connect now. Great, great. Uh, so, as you can see, we're now connected to the Apple uh, Mac OS Catalina instance of AWS. So yeah. Uh, so now that we are connected to the EC2 instance via SSH, let's try and connect uh, to the instance as UI. For that, we need to do two steps. So first, we need a uh, username and a password for our Mac instance. We already have the username, so we will need to set up a password for the same user. Uh, so this is the command for that. Uh, no need to worry about the commands. I'll leave them in the uh, YouTube description. And let's see. Yeah. So I have set up my password. Uh, you can do the same using the following commands. Uh, now we need to enable the VNC server, uh, which will help us uh, see the UI. So I'll just uh, copy this command. Uh, so I'll also leave this command as well in the YouTube description notes, so no need to worry. This will enable the UI thingy. So now uh, UI is enabled for us. And, uh, so now once this is done, we need to enable uh, traffic to do the port number 5900 so that uh, uh, we can access the UI through that port. So VNC internally uses that port number. So we again need to go to the security group. And we need to edit that. So I'll just add a rule to enable this and I'll leave it anywhere for now. So now we should be able to connect. Uh, using the screen sharing utility already present in the uh, Mac OS. Good. Awesome. So now it's asking us the username and password which we just recently set. Awesome. So you should be able to see something similar. Uh, you follow all the steps. We can also move to the full screen. Awesome. So let's check out the system specifications. Okay, so it's the Mac Mini, and yeah, everything seems all right. All right. Uh, okay, I think that's about it. So yeah, that's it. Uh, you should be able to do the same thing. And if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to reply to all the comments. And uh, so yeah, stay tuned and don't forget to hit the, hit the like button, uh, uh, it helps other people find this video and uh, uh, high five if you do choose to click the like button. Uh, so yeah, thank you.